Hello oh guys, uh, and this is Lucas again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to finish the configuration of the device so that we can send emails to our users. Uh, for example, we can send uh, password uh, reminders um, and you know things like that. All right, so let's um, let's uh, start where we left off. In our config folder, we have the folder called environments, and here in the configuration files for all three environments that we're going to be using. So development, uh, production, and test. Uh, let's open the development one. Uh, so this is where our application, this is where application is running on our server, uh, our local machine when we type uh, Rails S or server. Um, so, and let's, let's put some code here, right here. This is the code um, to uh, configure our mailer. So this is um, a special ability of our Rails application to send emails right in front from, from our server. <coughs> However, because our Rails application is not email service, it has to go to the external provider. Uh, right here you see um, the configuration for you that works with Gmail, of all the Gmail settings. Uh, and you can, if you use Gmail yourself, you can uh, you can make your application send emails from your own account. Uh, and all you need to do is to keep on, like, just keep those four lines as they are, and put your email here <coughs> and a password right here. And uh, just copy paste. Uh, uh, this is some some uh, fake email. It's not real. Uh, but for you, you can just put the right one. If you go to production, you, know, you just do basically the same thing, <coughs> just copy paste. Uh, in test, you don't have to do it because if we send emails through the test, and we're gonna do them uh, those those things at some point, you don't really need to. Um, the test will fake the email; it will not actually send it. Um, so you just need to keep it in production and the development. Okay, so once you have that done. Your uh, your uh, Rails um, your Rails application will be able to send emails. So when the people go and forget their password, uh, the device already provides you a link. Um, and if you go here and make sure you're running your server, uh, if you try to sign in, <coughs> you will see. Uh, oh yeah, a little slow start. Uh, you will see that you have this link to. Uh, reset uh, the password and when you put your email here the device will send it um, and it will only happen if you have this configuration um, properly set the other thing is um, the device in if in config initializers there is uh, this device.rb file if you go here uh, there is some configuration here and just pay attention to this line. It's around line 13. Uh, this is default uh, default uh, reply to um, default sender of all the emails. Just make sure that this is correct. So you can either put your own email or put the email in the domain of your application. So for example, people can code dot, um, at, sorry. Just like that. Support at peoplecancode.com. Um, of course, just pick the one that uh, is appropriate for you. So it's either the one, the email that you, it's probably the most likely is the email that you're using um, to send. Okay, so there is quite a quite a bit of um, configuration options here. I encourage you to just read and. If some, in some cases, they're applicable, like for example, you can configure password length here. Right now, it's between eight and 128 characters, but you can change that if you want. Uh, there is a lot of stuff here. Um, just have a look. Okay, let's close that. Uh, close that, uh, and yeah, save and make sure that everything is working fine. But right now, you should be already sending emails. <coughs> um, but let's let's just tidy up a little bit. Um, we're gonna be writing. We, we're gonna be working with this code step by step, so everything is gonna happen uh, in the screencast. 
Uh, so make sure let's make sure that we just create them we create the menu for our application so this register sign in is uh, or the welcome message will appear on the screen at any given point uh, so we do that as we did in the previous videos if you go to our application uh, views <coughs> layouts and application HTML we're gonna put our menu right here right now on our home page we have this and we're gonna take this out from here Control X and we're gonna in layouts create new file and we call it underscore menu HTML e ERB and we paste it in here so the, we this in this underscore here it means that um, this is a partial and partials are very small blocks that we're gonna include in other templates like I know contact home or application so this menu we're gonna put inside of our application right above our content this yield tag is replaced by you know all the other templates when those pages are rendered so I'm gonna render this partial here and I'm gonna say layouts um, menu in you see and notice I skip the underscore and I also skip all the extensions so I don't have to write HTML dot ERB so here I refresh and this should stay the same uh, but if I go to the next page uh, for, for some reasons something slow with my computer yeah if I go to all the other pages those links will st still be here um, and if I log in oh it's in bad password how is that possible oh let me just sign up again Great. Uh, and refresh. Yeah, so now um, those sign up and uh, sign in link are not here because they're replaced by the menu. Uh, just like you can see here, it's either one or the other. So let's just make sure that uh, they kind of on the right hand side, like uh, the standard uh, convention for the menu is. So let's put in div. And give the class menu okay and go into our app assets style sheets and we have the static pages CSS but for this we're gonna create a new file and I like to call it because I I like to call this um, everything in the one file but you may choose to do it differently so I call it custom uh, CSS S C S S so we can use uh, SAS uh, and here we just uh, give this menu some style and I would say mm, text align right and maybe we give it padding padding right of maybe 50 pixels and that should look a little bit nicer I think I need to restart the server it's really getting slow yeah this is gonna be on the right hand side and if I sign out I get also on the right hand side it's just this flash message um, right here uh, it's breaking the layout uh, we can style the flash messages and I'll do it at some point but right now we don't really worry about it okay so that's fine I'm good with that um, and that's probably it for the device so device should be working and sending emails and the user can sign in sign out um, so that's it in this very short video um, in the next one I'll show you how to make user create other models and make them of him or him like make them uh, like a slaves of, of the user um, okay so see you in the next video um, 
Thanks for this one.